Welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I have my absolute favorite home decor subscription box, front door fashion. I'm actually wearing a front door fashion dress that came in my last box. I've actually gotten two boxes in between the last time I posted and now that I haven't shared with you guys and it's just been too busy. However, I am going to subscription box summit or sub summit and you might have heard me mention that soon or maybe when this is posted I'll have just gotten back from sub summit I think. Anyhow, I ordered this box for clothes to wear while I'm there and I told my stylist Rachel like I'm going to be on the sales floor, the trade floor, like looking at booths, I'm going to be talking with people, I'm going to be speaking on a panel. One night I may be on the stage handing out an award to a lucky subscription box owner who won a category. There's just a lot of things happening and I need clothes that are cute, comfortable, on the go, kind of like this dress. Like this is insanely comfortable. Everything about this dress is absolutely right. It has pockets. I mean, there's just like the answer is yes and yes. I would legitimately wear this with a white tennis shoe and go and then put on a stiletto for the evening and could go to a dinner. I feel like it's really, really um, easy to go day to night. So I said, you know more than me. Curate me a box that will get me through one week at a conference. And so that is what we are about to try on. If you are new around here and you want all the nitty gritty details and stuff on front door fashion, go up to this video. I'm not gonna cover that here. Um, you can go there, you can get all the information and then bounce back here and look at outfits. You can look at those outfits, but today I just kind of want to play dress up. Front Door Fashion is a women's clothing, non-recurring subscription box, meaning you just order a box when you want one, on-demand service. The price point does vary, but you can expect about $100 per item that you receive. I think this particular dress that I'm wearing was around $250 um, or $238, something in that range. There are no style fees, but they do put a $100 hold on your credit card to ship out the box. And considering there's several thousand dollars in some of these boxes, that's not such a bad deal. Um, shipping is free in the US and they are based out of Dallas, Texas. So I get my boxes like <laughs> extraordinarily fast. I feel like I'm like, hey Rachel, cause I text with my personal stylist. I'd like a box, a blink, and then the box is waiting here. It's super crazy. Um, but they are a, re a like personal stylist curation women's clothing box. So you meet with your stylist and you talk with them whatever you prefer on the website, on email, on the phone, via text is what I do. And uh, they style specific looks just for you. It is absolutely amazing. If you want to give them a try, you can go down to the link below in my description. And if you are new, you're going to get a free $50 to shop with on your very first box. Okay. Let's go put on the first outfit. Oh, wait, wait, I got to show you this. I got to show you this real quick. We will go put on the first outfit, but let's open the box together here. This is without a doubt the heaviest box I've ever received. So I'm like super excited to see what's in here. They do not ship shoes, just clothing, um, but they do accessories. I, I think I've gotten a few like headbands, belts and maybe some jewelry. This is one of those dresses that has a very lightweight material and it flows as you walk. It makes me feel like I'm like floating when I wear this dress. It's super comfy. Okay, on top, I'll pick that up in a minute because that's so heavy. Is everything you need to know, your return shipment, your return tape, your full packing slip, all, uh, all the items that you are sent gathered together by collection. So on top, ooh, this is new. You can scan this QR code to see the shoe guide. But look, this is the stylist notes, collection one. She talks about how to wear all the different items. And then there is the itemized cost. It is super hands-on, like, you, zero confusion. You don't even have to think. You just follow the instructions. So she said, hey, Samantha, I had a blast styling this box for you. I hope you find an option or two for the subscription box summit. And then she breaks out all the different outfits. So typically my boxes are about $1,000. Like my whole box is a value of $1,000. This box has a value of $3,150. If you keep the whole box, you get 10% off. <laughs> I've never done that. 
So that would bring it down to like, well, whatever minus 315 is. I can't do that kind of math. There are 15 items in this box. So outfit one, the rails white ruffle top and the jade coral shorts. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want the box to flip off, but this is so heavy. Look at this. Okay, let's go play dress up. <laughs> Outfit one, dang me and my no acetal. It just bites me in the butt. Who knew these puns could go this long? That, I have no booty. These shorts are so cute, but I need them I mean, honestly, right about like that. So look at it now. That's pretty stinking cute, this top and these shorts. But I have a very large amount of this short pinched. And this is something I've run into like over and over and over. I find these shorts like these that are so cute. Now look at the price tag. These are only 78. Okay, I was really getting ready for like 178. Because what happens is when they're that expensive, I can't also take them in and get them altered because then I'm like way busting the budget. 78 is still a little pricier than I typically spend on shorts. However, I think these are really cute. I have really been looking for a fun colored short that is a little more chic, a good length, a good fit. And if I go take these in and have them altered, these will be them. What do y'all think? And then this top, it's very thick, like, not very thick, that's the wrong word, but it is a thicker material. It is a hardier top. What do we think about it? Do we think this looks cute? Does it look too boxy? I don't know. Here, let me get a, hold on. Hold. There we go. I ran and got a clothespin <laughs> to bend the back of my shorts so you could tell me what do we think is this overall look. For some reason, this one isn't like screaming at me. However, I think this looks very cute together and it's done. It feels just so easy and done. We know the shorts are $78 because I saw that on the tag. The Jade Coral Jessica short, size zero, $78. This is the Rails Ruthie Blouse, size extra small, $158. That would definitely be a splurge for me. Now granted, I want to look amazing at this conference. It's a subscription box conference, so I obviously want to wear like my favorite subscription box brands. And so I'm willing to splurge, but do we think this is a splurge worthy outfit? So 158 plus 70, whatever that equals is this full look. What do we think? The next outfit is a floral blouse in denim shorts. Let's go grab it. Oh my Lanta, I swear my sister or I wore this exact shirt when we were like two or three years old. Like this is either my second time to wear this shirt in my lifetime or between my sister and I, it's the second time. How much does this not look like an 80s baby outfit? Like this literally, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say, part of me absolutely loves it because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like my 80s baby coming out. And the other part of me is like, no, it's the same thing with the pants, the high rise cutoff pants. I'm like, no, I've already worn that once in my lifetime. I'm done with that stage. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it too much? I think the shorts are super cute. I think this is a really good fit on short and I'm loving how comfortable these are. I just don't know. Also, um, it's Texas. It's a hundred kabillion degrees outside. No, see, I don't like it as a front tuck. I feel like that looks weird. But then is that right? Like you just straight out wear it like this? <laughs> I don't know. Um, long sleeve in Texas is great if it's a super breathable, lightweight material. So you're protected from the sun and you're protected from the direct exposure to heat but you're not like gonna melt. I'm super worried I absolutely gonna melt on this just because of the layers on it and the material. Even as gorgeous as it is, I don't, I just don't think I can do long sleeve in Texas or Florida. That's where the conference is, I'm going to Florida. So it's not too much better there. Here's what I love. So this is the info about this outfit. Right on trend, make a statement in this next ruffled yoke top 
from Caballero, I think is how you say the brand. Fabulous brand. Oh, they might have made the dress I just had on also. Like truly an awesome brand. It'd be cute with the previous coral shorts, okay? But also with white jeans, trousers, or any of your favorite denim. Style it with a light wash cutoff to add a little edge to the feminine top. Finish your look with a cute sandal or a slip-on mule. Like everything you need is right there. So you just literally pick up the hangers that are rubber band together, put the outfit on and go. They do not ship shoes in their boxes, but you can order shoes to be shipped to you. It's just like placing an online order separately. They don't come in any of the boxes. Okay, we need to vote. I guess we should look at cost. These Article of Society four and a quarter length denim short, size 25, $48. I think this is an absolute yes for me. I need new denim shorts. I don't have any light wash denim. I think this is a good solid yes. I like the length. I don't think my booty is going to be showing if I'm out with the kids, and I love that. And then this shirt is the Elizabeth Top in Bright Blooms, extra small, $175. I think, <laughs> I think that is a good answer for me. If I'm going to splurge on a $175 item, I need to... Well, like the dress I just had on when I started the video. I need to love it, love it, love it. And I can't tell how I feel about this, but I would love to hear y'all's feedback. Y'all's feedback is really important to me. So lean in, stretch me if I need to be stretched. Tell me what your thoughts are. Okay. Outfit number three is a Rails gauze dress. First sentence says, ideal for the hot Texas summer. Let's do it. Okay, what do we think? It does not have pockets, so it doesn't have that bulkiness there, but also then it doesn't have pockets. It is that blue that I love, that really deep blue. And she said to wear, Rachel did, Ideal for the hot Texas summer, this navy gauze mini dress is easy to throw on and go. I'm hoping to get this one in my closet as well. It is so cute with sandals and a statement headband. I can't wear headbands and I'm gonna try again because with my hair short, I think a headband would be really, really cute. As a migraine sufferer though, when headbands hit back here, it is like such a pressure point trigger for me. So I don't know. I do agree it'd be cute with that. I put in a little more of a statemental necklace. I just, Thought, like when I picked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, this dress, I'm gonna love, love, love this dress. And now that I have it on, I, I think I just like it. And I'm a little confused by that. I thought for sure this was gonna be a slam dunk. So what do you guys think? I love the square neck, but it's a square neck that comes up high enough that you can't see my melanoma scar and I'm so down for that. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? It is, let's look at the price. The Rells Valentina dress in Admiral Blue, extra small, $155. I don't know, why do I feel so lost? Okay, I think I could do a white tennis shoe too, like if I threw on a white tennis shoe instead of like this basic like wedge sandal. I don't know. It's super lightweight, super Texas friendly, breathable material, nothing clingy. Every I is dotted and every T is crossed. I'm gonna go get my next outfit. It makes me wanna do this, by the way. <laughs> and the next outfit is Pearl by Layla Rose. Sounds fancy. What do we think? This is pretty fabulous, you guys. I love weird clothes, if you haven't noticed already. Like I wear pretty mundane, like Texas t-shirts and shorts by day, mom clothes on the regular. But if I'm going somewhere, I want it to be different. I don't want to go anywhere and be seen in the same outfit as someone else. I just really enjoy some kind of weird, funky, different. And I feel like this describes it perfectly. I'm struggling with the collar a little bit, but I have not pressed the collar or had my dry cleaner press the collar how I would have it pressed, which is I would have them pop it in the back all the way up, like, like pop it, pop it. And then have it pressed out where it lays a bit more like this. And then I'd wear a beautiful necklace. Um, I love the puff sleeves, the puffiest in the world. They're so cute. I love the length. I think it's very appropriate. 
this dress has pockets. You wouldn't even know it. The way it lays is so chic. What do you guys think? I feel beautiful in this. And that is like that feeling I wait for. And every once in a while, if I've like tried on several items back to back and I haven't gotten that feeling, you see me kind of go, oh no, like am I missing something? And then I'll put something on like this. And I'm like, oh, no, there it is. I feel the feeling. Now, let me tell you, I did tell her to include some splurge items. And I have a sneaky suspicion this is one of those because listen to the description. Made in the USA, Pearl is a trunk show brand made by high-end designer Layla Rose. Not sold online, the brand is exclusively sold through Front Door Fashion in one other boutique in Dallas. And so that is definitely um, an indicator of an investment piece. So we're gonna scroll down, dress, Pearl by Layla Rose, the floral poplin A-line dress, size two, $415. $415. Okay, now that we have that information, and let's make sure we get this laying correctly, because I'll have it, I will have it laying correctly. Do I do it? This is the first piece that I have said. I feel fabulous in it. It's my color, it's my blue. What do we think? Do I splurge? I could wear it to the conference. It would totally be so chic at the conference. Once again, I would wear one of my really cute, comfy white tennis with this and run around that conference all day. And I would even wear my little fanny bag. I have this cute little fanny bag that I could wear that would be right here and do conference all day and then throw on some cute sandals or heels and go out to dinner at night. What do we think? I really, really like it. Jonathan's not here to vote. It's so much better when he's here because he likes fashion and he'll lean in. Okay, I'll have to ask him later. You guys tell me in the meantime what you think. Collection two is my next set of clothing and the next outfit is a floral top and trousers. Let's go look. I mean, I quite literally, never go to business meetings and never have to go anywhere I need to wear like business attire. But if I did, this would so be it. I think this is so cute. So confession, the pants are definitely too big. You can kind of see them crawl in here and you can see in the back <laughs> my no booty thing catching up to me once again. But I love this top and I actually have another pair of pants I bought last time that I'm gonna run in my room and throw them on. I don't think I've ever even worn them. The tags are probably still on them. So let me go grab those pants, swap them out and see. If you're interested in these pants, which by the way, I highly recommend them. They're extremely soft and comfortable. I am wearing the Ecru Madison Slim Leg Trouser in stone, size zero, $176. So that's what this is. This is the Cavola Top in floral total eclipse, $74 size extra small. So let me go through on my pants and let's see what we think when I have that combo on together. Oh my gosh, I think the pant in my closet actually is a better color palette. So this is my pant. Uh, it just, it's like a, like a little kid pant. It's stretchy material and you pull it on and it fits no matter what. I'm like the person who needs the adjustable waistband, so embarrassing. But I love these two colors together better than I love that khaki. And I've got these pants in one of my last front door fashion boxes. She sent it with another outfit. And for some reason, I forgot about them until the other day when I was cleaning out my closet and working on some capsules. And I was like, oh my gosh, those pants. And so I think this is a huge winner. Also very friendly on my budget to match these two together. What do you guys think? So obviously I've got another puff sleeve going on. At what point does one own too many puff sleeves? Say it isn't so. Maybe there's not a number. Hopefully there's not a number. What do we think? I think this is cute and it's fun and it's easy. I'm trying to decide if I were at a conference, what shoe would I wear that could go the long haul? Probably my like just Nude Tory Burch sandals. Those typically go with anything and they can be worn for forever. Okay, what do you guys think? These would be cute with white denim. This would be cute with white denim. This would be cute, like a little half front tuck with some shorts. 
I'm digging this. Okay. I feel like I found another it piece. Hopefully everything I choose, it's an it piece won't be expensive. I guess this isn't so bad. This is only 74. Okay. My next outfit is a Kelly green top and navy trousers. Those are colors that I like. What do we think? These are so my colors. This green and these blue pants. They've got pockets. I feel like I should love this, but I'm just okay with it. Or do I need to be stretched? What do you guys think? It's a little... For me, which my husband has said, he is aware that I am a mom and he appreciates the fact that I am aware of that, but I need to get a little more oomph in some of my pieces. So I am about that. I want to get a little more oomph. And I mean, if I bend over, you can't, like everything's, I think, safe and secure and staying. So is this a fun top to do? Or, and speak truthfully, does that top button look like it's screaming for help and it's about to burst? And it looks just strained because really not like it's not that tight. Look, it's not like it's like, whoa, see, that's what I was afraid of. I don't feel like that button is secure enough. And if I wear this shirt and finally I'm like brave enough to wear the shirt, I'm scared it's going to do what it just now did. Hold on. About to have to re-rank the rating on this video. I, I think that makes me insecure, which is a little bit of a bummer because we got puff sleeves. Check mark. This green that I love, these, these crazy greens, I don't know why I love them so much, but I do. Um, it's a fun, different cut. I feel like I could wear it with shorts or pants. I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me truthfully what you think. And then I love the pants. They're just like those last ones, they're pull on, but they're too big. Like they're sagging in all these different spots. I need like one size down, and I think this is the smallest size. The Amanda Up Richard Bernice Top and Green Extra Small. Oh, $194. This shirt doesn't scream $194 to me. It feels very polyestery, like like daily look polyestery that kind of bothers me. Of course, I don't, this doesn't seem stitched and created at the $194 worth of quality. Like I'm very not so sure about that. Okay. That solved that. I was gonna be adventurous too. I still want your opinion on the cut and style because if I run into another shirt like this, I wanna know if I should go for it or not. But for $200, I need this sucker to be spot on. And it just, I don't know, it isn't. But the pants are by 1520, the classic straight leg pant in midnight blue. Love this deeper blue. Extra small, $143. Normally I'd splurge for it, especially since they're so comfy with pockets but they're just a little big and gathery. Like, look at my knees, they're gathering down there and I don't like that. Okay, but like that one was an easy decision. I love this look. First, I would have never put a denim jacket with this dress. My mind would have just been like, oh, that's evening wear, that's going out wear, and that's like a denim jacket with puff sleeves. I, clearly Rachel knows I have a thing. But I think this is so cute. Like I could totally wear the shoe I have on, which is like this little beach wedge, or I could dress this up with a strappy sandal. It's got sleeves if you want it to. Take off this super cute jacket. And it is such a beautiful dress underneath. Look, I absolutely love it. It ties up in the back. It feels like it was built for me. Everything is so, like it was a little bit of a shimmy to get in it, but it feels so safe and secure. I love this little slit, it has a little bit of leg, but it's not so high that if I'm outside and it's super windy the whole time, I'm gonna be battling this thing. Extremely comfortable. Very much like the dress I had on earlier <laughs> when we started the video, which is also from Front Door Fashion. I have never worn neutral colors like this. And I feel so liberated because I feel like they look pretty. I've always been told with my fair skin and my red hair, I can't wear them because it washes me out. And maybe washed out is like a new look, but I am loving this. And this jacket is so cute. And I love how you could totally snatch the back more if you wanted to, because this is adjustable. And I have these cuffed a little bit, but it's a three quarter length sleeve. So it's like really great for like summer states because that's the full sleeve. 
And it is denim. It's incredibly thin. Very, very lightweight. I am loving this look. It's probably crazy expensive because I'm on a trend for that, but I'm thinking I'm reaching it. It's an okay thing. It's okay. Let's see. Her notes are this tropical prints are on huge trend. This fabulous midi dress from Millie showcases the trending print perfectly. This luxury dress is perfect for a summer wedding that yes, I totally agree. Or making a statement at the summit you'll be attending. Layer a white blazer or the white tart denim jacket to complete the look. I do have a white blazer, but that seems so businessy. I think I like this better okay but it's funny why is it called a midi dress this is like a i thought midi dresses stop midway somebody somebody tell me what i'm missing that's really funny the tart collection avril jacket in white extra small 158 dollars of course and the millie mia jungle print dress size two $395. So four, five, this is $550 of outfit and I freaking love it. That's why I love it. The materials are outstanding. The print is outstanding. The quality is outstanding and the price is outstanding. Ooh, do I splurge or not? So things to chat about. Uh, Front Door Fashion has a great Refer a Friend program. So if you are signed up, make sure you sign up and get involved with the Refer a Friend. I have Refer a Friend credits that I am totally using for this purchase. So not all of this is going to come out of my pocket. So that definitely leans me into shopping a little bigger than I normally would shop when I'm using some of my credits. So with that being said, do I wanna use my precious credits towards this? What do we think you guys? I feel awfully pretty in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna put it in the yes pile because we still have to try the black floral wrap dress. Okay, this is the black floral wrap dress. I don't love it. I just, I think it's a little too big, so it's hitting in weird spots, like instead of laying like it normally would, it's fitting a little bit different on me. I don't, the wrap part right here, for some reason, once again, it may be just the way it's fitting me. Maybe it's not hitting in the right places. Maybe if it hit more like that, like the wrap at the waist, whereas like it's half on my hips, half on my waist. I don't know, not a real big fan, which is fine. Cause at this point I have to start cutting some things because Jonathan is going to kill me. <laughs> but here's what this guy looks like. The sheared waist mini dress in black and azure blue size two, $208. So yay. Glad I am not in love with this one because my budget needs a little bit of a break. But if you are loving it, that's the name and size of it and you can request it in your next box. For me, I'm gonna jump to our next outfit, the black halo blue business dress. Okay, let's go get businessy. Okay, this is very businessy. Makes me feel very professional. Like I need to go somewhere important and like debate something really serious or like sell something. Isn't this cute? Look at the sleeve. I love it. I have nowhere serious to go and it feels a little too serious for me, but I'm like super glad Rachel sent this because there's been quite a few of you, quite a few of you, like Annie, you've asked for business clothes. There's been a few others who are like, hey, I need a subscription box that will send business attire. And I've been like, I front door fashion can do it. They don't send me business attire because I don't want to go to business meetings. But we saw that outfit earlier. Here is a second example that you business women can get really, really cute clothes from Front Door Fashion. Hello. Is there anything else? Yes. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thanks. So I'm here hanging with you guys because I want to film this box. I just got it in. Super exciting. So my husband was like, hey, let me run the kids to all their doctor's appointments, all their physicals and getting ready for all the school slash summer things. And I was like, okay. I think I've answered the phone like 10 times while on this, <laughs> this video with you guys. 
Ah, oh, bless his heart. He's like, what are the answers to all these questions? So I have a feeling I'm gonna be very much appreciated this evening when he realizes I store a plethora of random information in my brain. Okay, mom life at its finest. Working moms come in all shapes and forms, huh? Okay, so this black halo Valor Chic dress in twinkle blue, I'm wearing a size zero, is 375. Once again, you go to work every day, five days a week, five days a week, you have to get dressed in something fancy. It might as well be something that is a beautiful material that makes you feel beautiful and it is comfortable. Like this thing is great. The material on here is fabulous. Okay, last but not least is a jumpsuit. Okay, you guys, I legitimately don't know if I love it or if I wanna make fun of it. Like, how is that a thing? Like pulling off the hanger, I was giggling and was like, this looks like like a, an assigned uniform you get to wear if you got in trouble somewhere and had to go do some time. And so they would give you this jumpsuit to wear. So I was giggling as I put it on. And then as I zipped it, I was like, oh, well, it's, it's definitely weighty. It's a heavier, thicker material, but it's super soft and it feels super good on my skin. And so then I saw the pockets and I was like, oh no, I was totally making fun of this. And now I can't tell if I like it or not. What do you guys think? I don't typically wear a lot of darker colors. So the black on blue for me is a stretch, but I think it's good. I, I like the colors together. Of course, if I had a beautiful necklace on or some bigger earrings, I would definitely change things up a little bit. Let me just grab this necklace real quick. I think just for the sake of like, having full picture and being able to make decisions. There we go. Just a little something to add some texture. What do we think? Cute. It's a good fit. It's a great fit. Actually, it's comfortable. Let's see. Perfect for travel is this last jumpsuit from Trina Turk. Trina Turk. I love the chic navy and black color blocking for you, as well as the super flattering silhouette and fabrication. Style it casually with fun sneakers or dress it up with black heels. Finish your look with the statement earring to add a little something. The Tune Jumpsuit Size Zero, $398. I tell you, I said the materials feel great. Like it is very well crafted, like great quality. Obviously it's a great, Fit. I just don't know if I love it $398 worth. What do you guys think about this guy? I do agree you could wear a, a cute little sneaker with it and it would be awfully fun. But I do have some accountability like in the like this is the relaxed state if I'm just being honest. But I have some accountability to hold it, hold it all together. How do I feel about that? We know I'm pretty lazy in that department. Okay. I think this was a wildly successful try on. Where's my phone at? Here we go. If you keep five items, you get $20 in perk credit towards your next purchase. Perks are part of the refer a friend um, program. So you get points for referring friends and you get points for every dollar you spend. Those points turn into money that you can go shopping with. It is awesome. And so I'll be using some of my perk points to buy items for this box. Details to know is there is no styling fees, there's no membership fees, there's no shipping fees. Like they are truly here to help you find amazing clothes. You get four to six outfits per box, but you can request a mini box if you just need some filler items. They have a great rewards program, detailed outfit notes, which y'all got to see here. There's no algorithms. Everything is hand curated by real people. Like I've had Rachel as my stylist for forever. Sizes zero through 12 or extra small through large is what they mostly carry. And if you're in the Dallas area, whether you live there or you're passing through, you can schedule an in-person session, which I still have not done. Last time I was in Dallas, I wanted to do it, but our schedule got too busy. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go up there, finally meet Rachel face to face, and do an in-person session. If I do it, I totally will bring you guys along. If you've been watching this and you're like, yes, Samantha, those are fabulous clothes, but that is way outside of my budget. I just posted a Fashion versus Nadine West, which are two women's clothing subscription boxes that fall within the $30 to $40 price range per item. You can go up here to check that out and see if that's a better match for you. 
or you can just look at the clothing playlist here. I'm gonna link the playlist. Oh yeah, I can link playlists in my video. I always forget that. So I'm gonna link the playlist up here and you can grow through and look through so many clothing subscription boxes to find the one that is a better match for what you're trying to do. As for me, I am a huge front door fashion fan. I'm not able to stock my entire closet, but I do stock my main key pieces, my splurge pieces, almost strictly from them because I absolutely love their curation. If you wanna give them a try, go down below and grab that link because that link's gonna give you $50 on your first shopping trip to shop with. If you have not already, share this with a friend. You guys, my birthday is July 7th and I'm trying so hard to be at 20,000 YouTube subscribers by that day. So it'd mean the world to me if you'd run down there, hit the share button. You can do it on your cell phone and you can do it on a computer. You click share and it pops up a myriad of options that you can one click share or you can just copy the code and put it anywhere you want. Place that URL wherever you're hanging out, text it to a friend, email it to a friend, put it on social media and more. It warms my heart so much when I'm scrolling through and I see one of my posts on one of you guys' walls or something that you're doing. It's always so super exciting. I hope that you are having an absolutely amazing June thus far. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'm gonna see you later. Bye y'all.